What have you thought of Andrew now that you've had three days to coach him, and what, what skills do you feel like he'll bring to this team? Yeah, it's, it's funny because I've been watching Andrew play for a long time because I have a buddy that trained him when he was young. So having him in the gym has been a real pleasure after watching the last couple of years. Um, the thing that's standing out the most right now defensively, his activity and how well he gets his hand on the ball and gets a steal and pushes the ball ahead and goes the other way. It's, it's a pretty impressive uh, feat. What did you see from his court vision and pass? And that's, I think that's what really impressive yeah. the job It's elite. I mean, it's elite. Putting him in pick and rolls, we feel pretty good about it. Usually something good's going to happen. Uh, he makes the right play just about every time, and he just sees the game so well. So uh, he's showing that here just as he has you know, his whole career. Do you, can you feel kind of that he was in college for more than a couple of years? You can see that experience. The maturity, yeah. the experience of just like knowing how defenses rotate. He's played some national team stuff over the years, so he's had so much experience that, you know, coming to this is not new for him. We actually joke about it, you know, because we're working on certain things that – He's already pretty good at it. I'm like, are you getting bored? And he's like, no, I'm good. I, I, I like to read it, still like to get better. So uh, I'm really glad he's on our team. I'm going to see you clean to get guys like that. Because obviously you're with Tyrese, probably will be with him. Yeah, yeah, I, I love those guys. Uh, obviously just to be able to help them with understanding the dynamics of the team and the kind of impact that they can have on the team through their play, but also through their communication and their words is, uh, is an important thing. He's going to be a leader for us. And, uh, we got to help him grow in his leadership at the NBA level. How difficult is it to play with pace? Like, he does it. It makes it look easy. When you're that young, you're that size, you can play at your own pace. What does it say about him? Yeah, no, he, uh, man, he's our best on our team right now. Just the ball touching his hands and him just finding someone to kick in the head. You know, I think that just comes with his growth at Florida. When he got to Gonzaga and him already kind of having that background knowledge of how to play with pace, he's brought that here already the first couple of days. He's so like mild mannered with us. Like, does another side come out when he competes, or uh, how does he go out? He's still pretty mild mannered, but in a way that you know says he's ready to kick your butt. You know what I mean? Um, he's a quiet guy, but the intensity and the focus and the level of presence that he plays with, you feel it. We didn't get a chance to uh, talk to you about this yesterday. Obviously, I didn't ask. They're still in the moratorium, but you did work with Jalen Smith last year. What do you think of his skill set and what he brings to the league? I love Jalen. I mean, he was great for us last year. Um, and, you know, he does a lot of good things that uh, were good for our team last year. And so, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. But Terry Taylor, what are you seeing from him from year one to year two? In this environment so far, he's just been a beast. I mean, that's the best way to explain it. Um, you know, just his ability to attack the rim, to finish in difficult situations, to get on the offensive glass. The, the step that he's really uh, taken over the summer is, is catch and shoot greens, especially above the break. Um, we've really worked on him on his closeout reads um, and knowing when to shoot and when to drive. And he's really taking that to heart and he's really shooting the ball well. I've asked a couple people about this, but in your experience in basketball, is there a better rebounder, 6'5 or, or shorter, that you can remember? Uh, uh, Charles Barkley was at my first ever high school game. And so, and he's from Alabama and I'm from Alabama. So I think I got to go with him first. And then I'm going to put TT somewhere in the top five. <laughs> How much fun are you having, you being the guy out here? Today was a lot of fun. I mean, we, we scrimmaged today. First time that we've actually just played up and down, get the coaches out of the way, let the guys go for multiple quarters. And the energy in the building, the togetherness that the guys are playing with, the fun they're having. It's fun for me to just be out here and watch. Uh, so. I'm happy that I get to be a part of it and a part of these guys, and hopefully, you know, we just continue that on when we get to Vegas. What was kind of included last night? Was that your sets and just getting yep. shots up? Yeah, we, we just went through some sets. We slowed it down. We did some details defensively. Uh, you know, our whole thing with that was just to kind of get the guys more familiar with what people do in the NBA and how we're going to attack it on both of them. I'm sure you've been asked this already over the last few days. I haven't been here, but just the benefit or the purpose of these next two weeks. Exactly. Every obviously every organization wants to get better, but specifically for this one with all the youth and the rebuild. What do you hope to see over the next two weeks? That's the biggest. Yeah, we're hoping that these guys that are out here that are that are on our team that will be on our team. Um, are ready when training camp starts with a foundation and understanding of, of, of the NBA. Um, that's what we're doing here. We're doing a lot of reads, a lot of decision making. Decision making is the most important thing to success in the NBA. And so we're trying to help these guys, put them in positions to make the right decisions so that when we get to camp, they've already done it. Anything surprise you most about the, those three draft picks so far? Surprise me? Uh, yes, something surprised me big, big time today. We did a drill 
a transition drill where uh, guys have to run in transition and we were competing. And I looked down for a second to write something and I looked up and Kendall Brown, I swear, it was like a 100 mile per hour car running by me. It was unbelievable. I have not seen anything like that in front of me and that surprised me just how fast he got off the floor. Um, and so I'm happy that he's on our team so that we can uh, create some more of those opportunities for him. When he catches that first body, what do you think that'll be like for, for the team, for the energy of the team? Between uh, Nate Hinton and Dwayne Washington, uh, I'm hoping that we get a technical. Ha, ha, ha.